Come, my beloved, let us go forth to the field. Let us see if the vine budded. Song of Solomon, chapter 7, verses 11 and 12. The church was about to engage in earnest labor and desired her Lord's company in it. She does not say, I will go, but let us go. It is blessed work when Jesus is at our side. It is the business of God's people to be trimmers of God's vines. Like our first parents, we are put into the garden of the Lord for usefulness. Therefore, let us go forth to the field. Observe that the church, when in her right mind, she desires to enjoy communion with Christ in all her many labors. Some imagine that they cannot serve Christ actively and yet still have fellowship with him, but they are mistaken. Doubtless, it is very easy to fritter away our inward life in too many outward activities, and come to complain to the spouse, they made me keeper of the vineyards, but my own vineyard I have not kept. But there is no reason why this should be the case except for our own folly and neglect. Certainly, a professor of faith may do nothing and may grow just as lifeless in spiritual things as those who are most busy. Mary was praised, not for sitting still, but for sitting at Jesus' feet. Even so, Christians are not to be praised for neglecting duties, under the pretense of having secret fellowship with Jesus. It is not sitting, but sitting at Jesus' feet that is commendable. Do not think that activity in itself is evil, it is often a great blessing and a means of grace to us. Paul called it a grace given to him to be allowed to preach and every form of Christian service may become a personal blessing to those engaged in it. Those who have the most fellowship with Christ are not recluses or hermits who have much time to spare, but are laborers who are toiling tirelessly for Jesus and who, in their toil, have him with them side by side, so that they are workers together with God. Let us remember then, in anything we do for Jesus, we can, and should, do it in close communion with him. Amen.